Hi everyone. It is Sunday evening. I hope that you've had a great day again today. Um, we are going to read tonight again from the Beginner's Bible. And um, it may hard, be hard to believe, but we are already on page 379. So for tonight, it starts with the story of the Good Samaritan, which comes from the book of Luke. One day, a lawyer put Jesus to the test. He said, I know the law says to love God with all my heart and to love my neighbor as myself, but who is my neighbor? Jesus told the man this parable. Remember, a parable is a story that gives us a lesson. A man was on his way to the city of Jericho. Some robbers beat him, and they stole everything he had. The man was hurt. He needed help. Along came a priest. A priest saw the man, but did not stop. Along came a helper in the temple. He saw the man, but he also did not stop. Along came a Samaritan man. When he saw the hurt man, he stopped. The Samaritan man cleaned up the man's wounds. He lifted the man onto his own donkey and took him down the road to an inn. An inn is kind of like a hotel or, or a place where people live. They stayed at the inn. The Samaritan took care of the hurt man all night long, said Jesus. In the morning, the Samaritan man gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, Take care of the man until I return. After Jesus finished the story, he asked, Which one of these three men was the neighbor? The lawyer answered, The one who took care of the hurt man. Jesus said, Go and do as he did. The next story is called Mary and Martha. It's one of my favorites. Mary Martha and their brother Lazarus were friends with Jesus. One day, Jesus came over to visit. Mary sat at his feet and listened to him for a long time. Meanwhile, Martha was so busy cooking and cleaning, there was so much to do. The longer Mary listened to Jesus, the madder Martha got. She said, I am busy in the kitchen while Mary is doing nothing. Has that ever happened to you where you felt like you were doing a lot of work and nobody else was helping you? Jesus, please tell my sister to help me, Martha whined. Martha, Martha, said Jesus, you should not be so upset. Mary has chosen to do what is better. She is listening to me. So whenever that um, things happen, no matter what, the first thing we do is listen to Jesus, right? The next story is called The Lost Sheep. Some people wondered who was more important to God so Jesus told them a parable. Here's another parable, okay? Think about a shepherd. What does he do? He watches over his sheep. He gives them plenty of food, and he gives them plenty of water. He counts them to make sure they're all there. If one is lost, he looks for it. He looks in the barn, he looks near the stream, he looks in the hills, he looks everywhere. 
This shepherd does not give up at give up. At last he finds the last um, little sheep. He carries the sheep back. He calls his friends together and says, Let's celebrate. The lost sheep has been found. Then Jesus said, God loves every one of his children like a shepherd loves his sheep. When one of them sins, it is like a sheep that has gone astray, and God is very sad. But when the person turns away from sin and comes back to God, he is very, very happy. He celebrates like a shepherd who lost, who has lost but now has found his lost sheep. The Lost Son Jesus told another parable, I love parables tonight, about God's love. There was a man who had two sons, said Jesus. He owned a big farm. His youngest son did not want to work anymore. He wanted to travel and to have fun. So he asked his father for his share of the family money. The son got the money. He packed his things and left. He couldn't wait to see the world. His family was sad to see him go. At first, he had fun spending money. He bought expensive clothes and he ate fancy food. But soon, all the money was gone. He had to go work, and he got a job with a, a pig farmer. He was so hungry that even the pig's food looked good. The son wanted to go back home. He said, I will tell my father I am sorry for what I have done. I do not deserve to be called his son. Maybe he will let me work for him. The father saw the son coming down the road. His eyes filled with tears and he ran to greet him. The son said, please forgive me, dad. That night they had a big party. The father exclaimed, My son was lost, but now he is found. Let's do one more. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't finish the page. Jesus explained his story. God is like this father. He is full of love and joy when people who are lost come back to him. So we'll read one more. This one is called The Ten Leopards. As Jesus was traveling, he met ten lepers. Lepers were people who had sores on their body. Their bodies were covered with sores. The lepers shouted, Jesus, please heal us. Jesus said, Go show yourselves to the priest. The ten lepers left. While they were walking away, something amazing happened. All ten of them were healed. Only one man came back to thank Jesus. What do you think about that? Only one came back and nine didn't come back. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and said, Thank you. Jesus wondered where the other men were. They did not come back and thank him. So that's where we're going to leave off tonight. And it's a reminder always to remember to say thank you when people do things for us. And it can be something that's easy, just like, you know, maybe somebody held the door open for you. And sometimes it can be something that's bigger, like 
something that heals you like the lepers um, were healed. So um, good night, my friends. Peace be with everyone.